this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live from Asia, the OG in the house. Guys, this is my 9 a.m. update. We can hear the doge dog barking in the background. Who let the dog out? Woof, woof. Today we've got an action-packed, jam-packed uh, video for you. Uh, we're going to talk about the markets. We're going to talk about Doge. We're going to talk about why the markets are down, why Doge is down, the specific reasons. And we're going to talk about my support and resistance levels and where I see Doge going uh, for this weekend. Remember, Monday to Fridays, the markets pump. And Saturday and Sundays, the markets dump. So we're heading into Saturday in Asia. So we can expect some uh, downward pressure. So before we can jump into content, just a word of caution, none of this is financial advice. This is just me expressing my opinions. Don't forget to smash the like, subscribe. Let me give a big shout out to my newest members, my newest supporters uh, in the house. Uh, let me give a shout out to Raju. Let me give a shout out to Iraji. Let me give a shout out to K uh, Keith Carroll in the house. Let me give a shout out to Ashif uh, Valano. Thank you guys for being uh, members. Thank you for supporting the channel and all of my subscribers who are not members, become members. You're gonna love it. Get access to badges, perks, and inside information and insider videos. But for the rest of you, I love everyone. I love, love all of you. It's great to be alive. This is the crypto revolution. We're in it together. We're in it to win it. Woo! All right, let's jump into the markets and let's see what's going on in the crypto space. Right now, the uh, total market cap is sitting at 1.51 trillion and that is down 5.2%. Uh, uh, My Bitcoin dominance is now sitting at uh, 44.38. Now, some people are asking, what is Bitcoin dominance? Why is it so important? So the Bitcoin dominance, dominance measures the total amount of the total market cap that is held by uh, Bitcoin. So right now, my Bitcoin dominance, dominance is sitting at 44%. So that means that the total market cap of 1.51 trillion, 44.36% of that is from Bitcoin. So what that means is that there's more people having their money in Bitcoin than in the other altcoins. So when that happens, you see typically the altcoin prices go down. So we really need the Bitcoin dominance to go down. And what that signifies is that more people are putting their money into the altcoin space. So hopefully you guys understand why uh, Bitcoin dominance is significant. It's really a measure of how many people have, uh, how much of the market cap is in Bitcoin versus how much of the market cap is in altcoin. When dominance is down, means we got more money in, uh, in altcoins. More money in altcoins means altcoins are gonna be at a higher price, right? Makes sense. All right, so let's take a look at where Bitcoin is right now. Bitcoin is trading at uh, $35,690 as a time of shooting this video. Remember, these prices can change at any time, at any moment. All right, and that's down 5.83%. Uh, uh, so that's not looking too good for, for Bitcoin. We're going to talk about why Bitcoin is down, why the markets are down, and why Dogecoin is down too. So hold on to your seats, buckle up. We're not at the news part yet. Woohoo! All right, so Ethereum is. Uh, at $2,241, and that is down 5.21%. Uh, uh, BNB right now is at $337.56. That's down 4.29%. 4, 4 ADA is right now trading at $1.42, and that is down 4.20%. Uh, and my Doge, woof, woof, Doge in the house. Can I hear the dogs barking? Can I hear the dogs barking? Woof, woof. Right now, Doge is down 5.26%, so it's not looking good, guys. So you guys, this is a warning. You guys need to take, take notice of why this is going down. We're gonna talk about my uh, support and resistance levels and some of the key levels we need to maintain if we're gonna to continue to go up. If we don't uh, hit these uh, major resistance uh, support levels, we're gonna go down. And we don't wanna see Doge go down, we're gonna see Doge go up. So right now, Doge is trading at 29 cents. And it's kind of raging between 29.2 uh, 29 and 29.5. So we need, uh, we need really Doge to stay where it is. We don't want to see much more drops than we are now. So let's keep our fingers crossed that we don't see any more downward pressure. All right, guys. So as you guys know, uh, we have uh, major support. Uh, we have major support, or we had major support at 31 uh, cents, but that's now become resistance. And now our next support level that we keep bouncing off is uh, 28 cents. So we need to stay above the 28 cents. If we break down below the 28 cents, then uh, we could see us dropping all the way to my next target, 
of around about 24 cents. So we need to say uh, above the 28, uh, 28.5 level or we're gonna drop down to 24 cents. So this is also a good buy, buying opportunity. If you wanna buy, uh, what I would do is I would put uh, some, some ladder buys in, uh, some at uh, 24 cents, and then I would also put a, uh, a ladder buy in around about 13 cents. So right now we're seeing uh, we're at 27 cents. Our next support level is uh, around about uh, around about 21, 22 cents. So we need to stay above that. So I'd be putting a buy in at 22. Then I would be putting a buy order in at around uh, 18, and then a buy order around 12. So those are our major support. Right now, we're still, we're still above uh, a good support level at uh, 28 uh, cents. So we need, really need to stay uh, above that, guys. So yeah, just keep your fingers crossed. Keep your eyes on the charts. Don't panic. Remember, this is a weekend. Typically, things on the weekend go down, and then they recover on Monday. This is very normal. If you look, if you look historically back over time, you'll always see that weekends tend to be more negative than positive. This is just a fact. It's the, it's the weekend effect. All right, guys. So. Why is Bitcoin down? Why are the markets down? Why is Dogecoin down? Well, it's very simple. If you look at the broader markets, uh, the Dow Jones is, is, was off yesterday, 1.58%. Uh, the S&P was down 1.31%. And the NASDAQ was also down uh, almost 1%. So, you know, the Dow yesterday fell uh, more than 500 points uh, yesterday, and that was to close out the worst week since October. So. The broader markets have had the worst week since October. This is also bringing down the, the uh, crypto space uh, because people who invest in stocks also tend to invest in uh, crypto, so they're sitting on the sidelines or they sold. So when we have the broader markets go down, you're also gonna see crypto go down. This is just the way it is. It's a fact, guys. So why are the broader markets down? Well, because of the interest rates. The interest rates uh, in the US are uh, you know, sky high. There's some of the highest interest rates since World War II. So this is not looking good, guys. So, the, you know, the, uh, the, the bear has taken over New York and uh, is rampaging. So we just need to keep an eye on that. Now, the other, the other reason that we can see that uh, Bitcoin price is down is because the Chinese mining, uh, Chinese miners, there's a big shakeout right now. And uh, the Chinese government is trying to kick out uh, the miners. So miners are looking for a new home. And you can see that because the total, the total hash rate right now uh, is, at, is, is at one of the lowest. We saw a big dip in the hash rate recently. And uh, so what that means is that miners are turning off, miners in China are turning off their uh, equipment and they're looking for a new home. So miners are looking at uh, Miami, because uh, you know Miami has cheap power using nuclear fuel, Texas, Iceland. So typically when miners shut down operations, what they're going to do is they're going to sell some of their Bitcoin because they need to uh, move. So that's another reason why we're seeing uh, prices go down. Uh, so guys, don't panic. Uh, Bitcoin is down because the broader markets are down, because uh, the Chinese miners are being told to move offshore. The hash rate is down. So these are some of the things that are contributing to uh, the whole, uh, for Bitcoin to be down. And when Bitcoin is down right now, we also see most of the markets go down. So you can see that, as I said, the uh, total market cap is down 5.3%. So it would not be unprecedented to see Doge go down to 5.3%. But Doge is still uh, around about uh, 4.96, about 5%. So it's in line with the, uh, with the market uh, going down. So guys, hopefully this has been informative. Hopefully you understand what Bitcoin dominance is. Hopefully you understand why the markets are down, what the news is down. So guys, once again, be blessed. Have a fantastic weekend. Remember, none of this is financial advice. This is just Daryl expressing my opinion, entertainment purposes. Please smash the like right now, guys. Smash it. I love you guys to death. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe right now, guys. Check out my links below. I've got free merchandise. You can pick up hats, cups, mugs, bags. Woohoo! Uh, also, guys, this is a call to action. Please take this video, copy the link, put it on your social, put it on your Facebook, put it on your Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. That's really important, guys. So once again, guys, be blessed. Have a blessed weekend. Love each other and, and enjoy every second, every minute. Make every second, every minute count because you're not getting any more back. So be positive. This is Daryl with the Dogecoin update with the positive vibe. Woo! I love it. All right, guys. Peace out.